Yeah, so hello everybody, my name is Sydney. I stay at the Blair East apartment here in Silver Spring. And I've been here for about a year and some change now. Um, again, I love my apartment. However, uh, the price, it's not, it's not matching up to the experience. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I pay about 1600 a month for a studio apartment. And then that's not including the parking, that parking spots we also have to pay. Um, and it's getting ready to go up to 1700 after this month. So, yeah. I actually stayed in a townhouse in Virginia that was the same price, and then I split it with my roommate. So it was like 800 a month for a whole townhouse and parking. So I'm in a time right now, I just graduated college two years ago. I'm still starting my career. I'm still on the entry level, barely entry level by the way that they're presenting entry level rules. Anyway, so it's in my situation right now, rent being raised for absolutely no reason with no bump in experience to no help. It's just, it's not logical and it's greedy personally. That's how I see it. I'm a 23 year old girl that's living by herself, that's still trying to get her feet on the ground in her career. And these raises in rent doesn't promote anyone wanting to stay there, especially people like me. It's gonna promote people moving back home and figuring out and not paying rent at all and moving away from cities like this, yeah, especially younger people, because they simply just can't afford it. So that's how, that's what I would tell the council member. Thank you. Thank you. So we were talking to your neighbor over to next door to you, and they said this last, you haven't been here a year, but they've been here more than a year, mm -hmm. and their rent went up. I think they said, what was it, 9% or something like that? Something ridiculous like that. What would happen if your rent in one year went up, I don't know, that's conservative 5%. What would, what would that mean? That's an $80 increase in one year. And then another 5%. I don't think it'd next. be worth it. It's not worth it. Would you be able to still live here? I probably, if I wanted, if I really, really felt like the, the price was matching up to my experience, yes. Yeah. But it, it's just not. If they keep adding on more and more uh, fees, pricings, all this other stuff for Nothing, nothing's changing. It's not like they're adding in a pool. It's not like they're adding in a parking lot for all of us to be able to park in for free. It's just, they're go it's going up and there's no explanation as to why. Do, um, do you expect your income to increase at, at that rate at, to keep up with? No, no, yeah. especially after all these layoffs. No, yeah. definitely not. It's a lot, it's been, I don't know. I feel like this time period is gonna be a lot harder to you know, get those pay raises and get those promotions and especially with all these layoffs and the way the economy is right now, I just feel like adding on more financial stresses to your, uh, to your renters isn't gonna promote them to wanna stay.